Are you pregnant? Have you heard of carpal tunnel syndrome? Most people have heard of carpal tunnel syndrome, but more with repetitive movements in the workplace with typing or mouse work. They're not aware that it's one of the most common prenatal symptoms that women experience. Up to 62% of women will have carpal tunnel syndrome symptoms. 50% of those women will then have the carpal tunnel symptoms in not only one hand, but both hands. My patients ask me all the time, how can I relieve carpal tunnel syndrome during pregnancy? And then their follow-up question is, because it's so bothersome, will the carpal tunnel syndrome during my pregnancy go away after I've had my baby? I'm Dr. Nichelle Gurley with Live Loud Chiropractic and Coaching out of Boulder County, Colorado, and we're gonna go through all things carpal tunnel syndrome during pregnancy. Starting off with, what is carpal tunnel syndrome? Carpal tunnel syndrome is essentially an entrapment of the median nerve that goes through this carpal tunnel space. The median nerve comes out of the spinal cord through the cervical spine, down the neck, down the arm, and then through that carpal tunnel. It can get entrapped in any of these locations along its way, the most common being in this carpal tunnel space, which is why it's most common during pregnancy because we have relaxin, and relaxin is going to loosen connective tissue. Ligaments are connective tissue, so ligaments usually keep that space in between each bone of the carpals, but now that they're loose because of relaxin, they can collapse and they can entrap that nerve. Swelling is also really common during pregnancy. So because of the swelling, that space can also fill up and entrap that nerve. Another reason is that sleep is not great for most pregnant women. So they can find themselves in different sleeping positions because they've woken up so many times that they're not used to being in. A lot of women will end up flexing their wrists a lot and sleeping very interesting positions. So between the relaxing, the swelling, and change in sleep patterns and positions, that can be one of the reasons why the carpal tunnel syndrome exists for them. But there are risk factors that exist. If someone goes into pregnancy overweight, they have gestational diabetes, hypertension, or a prior pregnancy where they had carpal tunnel syndrome, they're gonna be at higher risk of developing these symptoms. The symptoms for carpal tunnel with the median nerve being entrapped is going to be numbness and tingling into the fingers, the hand and wrist, swelling, a throbbing pain, sometimes just pain in general. They can have weakness, so motor can be affected. They can have weakness of their grasps. It's hard to do buttons. So it's pain, numbness and tingling, throbbing, weaknesses that can affect people. So it's really something that is bothersome, bothersome through pregnancy. So I'm gonna give you some tips as to things you can do. Because one of those questions is, will this go away? Will carpal tunnel syndrome during pregnancy go away? And for some women, it'll go away right away. The more fluids we have during birth will make it so that swelling lasts longer, so it can last for a couple weeks longer if we have more fluids during birth. But some women, carpal tunnel syndrome can last for a couple months after birth, and it can, for a select few, be so severe of carpal tunnel during pregnancy that it can last for up to a year postpartum. These tips I give you, I want you to start now if you're experiencing it, because it's something that hopefully we can reduce the amount of time that you have experiencing these symptoms. The first tip, is to wear a wrist brace, and most commonly at night, because what we know is that the numbness and tingling and pain is more common at night. 65% of women will have the numbness and tingling exacerbated at night, and then we'll have 50% where the pain just in general in their hands is worse at night. So that wrist brace, get it from CVS, Walgreens, off of Amazon, just a standard brace to keep your wrists in neutral. If you wear it at night, 80% of women will have a reduction in their carpal tunnel symptoms. Another thing that can be done is assessing your sleep situation. So are you sleeping and you notice that you are waking up with your wrist flex? And a lot of women are like, no, I'm not doing that. And then they pay attention and they realize, oh, I actually was sleeping weird. So you can take a pillow and try to keep your wrist in as neutral of a position as possible. A lot of women aren't used to sleeping on their side, which is where some of this comes into play. Plus sleep is disturbed. Another component that you can work in is going to be getting an adjustment of your wrist, getting those carpal bones that may have collapsed because of relaxing, realigned, getting muscle work done on the forearm can impact if the entrapment is in another area beyond the carpal tunnel, and then taping. So kinesiology tape, we use rock tape in my office. You essentially think about this nerve in this opening, and we want that nerve to have as much space as possible. Swelling and the collapsing of those carpal bones can cause that bone to be, or cause that median nerve to be entrapped. But if we open up that space as much as possible, that's when it's going to not have as much, you're not gonna have as many symptoms. So taping around the wrist can make this flattened circle more round for that median nerve. 
Another thing that we can do is change up our nutrition. So working on increasing the water intake to 100 ounces a day, which is tough if you're pregnant because you already have to go to the bathroom so much, but that can increase the circulation and lymph flow. So we want to make sure we have water that's at higher levels. You can increase your DHA. DHA is really good for decreasing inflammation in the body. 800 to 1,000 milligrams is a great place to be during pregnancy because it not only can help with inflammation, but it really is advantageous for neurocognitive development for baby, plus vision for baby, and maternal mental health. So DHA is full encompassing, not just for this. Also B6. B6 is something that's going to be helping with the metabolic pathways of neural function. So taking 100 to 200 milligrams a day can be something that you can add into your routine and see if that helps. Magnesium glycinate is another option. Dandelion root tea is another option that's uh, in the herbal component as well. Rest is going to be helpful, decreasing your repetitive movements. So if you're lifting a young child a lot because you're a nanny or you have another kiddo or you're on the computer a lot, decreasing that movement will be helpful. And then icing is another thing that can be helpful is just getting that inflammation to decrease. And a big one is also movement going on more walks, getting that circulation through your body, moving and pumping. Those are your top tips. The first one that I suggest if you have carpal tunnel syndrome is going out and getting a brace. You can see your local chiropractor and get help with those symptoms and reach out if you have any questions of things that you'd like to start implementing or any questions that you have to relieve your carpal tunnel syndrome during your pregnancy.